Hey guys, welcome to Flight Test. Today we have an awesome challenge for you guys. Now because winter is coming, Tiny Whoop season is kicking off. We are blessed to have two awesome Chase Quad pilots in our life, Chase and Jason and Michael. Now these two guys are responsible for all the Chase Quad footage that you guys see on our channel. Now what we're gonna do today is because Tiny Whoop season is kicking off, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a classic Tiny Whoop challenge. We just came out with our new track pack, which you guys can pick up right now. It has three gates, it has a launch pad, and it also has a dueling tree. Now we're gonna use everything that comes in the track pack in today's challenge. And so what we're gonna do is we're going to do the classic dueling tree, we're gonna do the gate challenge, and we're gonna do a classic tiny whoop race. So stick around, you wanna see this. You guys ready to uh, see who's the best at the dueling tree? Yes. No. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I haven't done the, the, the tree with uh, the little tiny whoop, so this should be interesting. Yeah. Because I like hitting it really, really hard, which is bad for me, because when I hit it that hard, I spin out of control. <laughs> and then half the time I get stuck under a cover or something, so. It'll, it'll be interesting. So what we're gonna do is a head-to-head -head challenge. My goal is to make them light and your goal is to make them dark so you get the white ones and the more dark ones are you win yes and the more light okay. ones are you win. all right yep okay power them up and, uh, in. let's do this okay one minute uh-huh starting now oh close oh there's one in the back over oh, that's not right oh man. Did I get two of them? You almost got two of them. Oh, almost. Oh, I missed. Oh my God. It's two to one right now. Oh, I thought I hit both of oh. them. I thought I hit both of them. No. All dark side. No. Oh, two white, one black. Three yeah. white. Come on. Come, come on. No. Oh. No! Oh. <laughs> Come on! No! Hey, Give where am over. I? Where am I? Oh no! Okay, good. I'm upside down anyway. I mean... oh. oh! He stuck the landing though. That's how you do it right there. Wait, how did we end up? Oh. But the last one was very, very close to what it a little bit more practice coming into this one, but the other challenges I don't think we really have any advantage. Time for the gate challenges, the races and the, uh, yeah. Yep. Okay, so Michael won the first challenge. Now the second challenge is actually gonna be the gate challenge. This challenge is gonna be about how many gates can the guys hit in 60 seconds. Now Michael's gonna set up the gates for Jason, Jason's gonna set up the gates for Michael, and they're gonna have free reign of wherever they wanna put their gates. So we have three gates that comes in the pack, so they're going to set up those gates. We're gonna start the clock and see who wins. Okay, Jason, what's your strategy? Um, I would make this as difficult as possible, putting obstacles in the way or short turn areas, like up against a wall with a sharp corner. Nice. Ooh, we'll also, see. Oh, I have a rule. rule. Just so we know, I mean, we all know here, but you can't consecutively hit the same gate. There has to be you hit, say, gate A and then gate B, you can then go you back to gate A, but you can't just repeatedly hit the same gate. So I have to go to the second gate. Yep. Yes, nice. Just wanna make sure that was clarified before where some people are like, why did they just do like loops around one gate? There is, there's a rule against that, so, <laughs> sadly. So we got one, one here in between the couch and the crate, got one under the table, and one all the way over here where he has to hit it <laughs> right behind the pillar. Yes, there is a wire so, under gate two. Obviously, since we have two quad pilots, we both hate certain things when we're flying. Up I'm assuming you do too. Scraggle branches, Scraggle. And ball, and or wires. wires. <laughs> so in the like the weight loss challenge plane episode, as you've seen, I don't know if Noah's gonna add it in or not, but at the end of the Insta 360 tunnel, there was actually a wire hanging down the center. The first time when my dad failed and I went through it backwards, I almost hit it. And the second time I just smashed right into it, but it didn't knock me out of the sky or anything. But you can't see it in FPV until it's too late. 
Yeah. So well, you know that one's there. So yeah. Good luck. <laughs> That's why you always should scout out where you're flying before you go fly in case there's power lines, driver branches, or anything you don't know that's there. Just in case. Mikey likes to drive fast or fly fast, so I'm hoping that he's these tight turns are gonna mess him up. Go. <laughs> All gas, no brakes. <laughs> All gas, no brakes. Go. One minute. Are you ready? Yep. Embark. Get set. Go. He's up. Oh, oh. Nine. Ten. Oh, he's finding the line. Oh, he's got a lot of work, Oh, did he go through? No, I did not go 14. through. That. 14. That's not that many. I crashed a lot. That wire really messed me up. <laughs> that was good. That wire messed me up. Well, time for me to set the gates for Jason, and hopefully I can mess him up like he messed me up. Go easy on me, man. He wasn't that mean to me. He just gave me one difficult gate and then one kind of odd place gate, so I think I'm going to do the same to him, just in an odder place. So, we'll find wherever that might be. I don't know yet. Probably should have thought this through before I did it. <laughs> right, so you got one by the tripod, got one by the triple XL, and then you got one by the dueling tree. So, feel pretty good about it? I, yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. I'm good. I'm trying to get both, I don't know. So, he, he stole like a really good spot because Smart. the wire, and I don't want to just use the same spot as him because I feel like it's cheeky because I know it messed me up, so I know it would probably mess him up too. But it's, I don't know, there's not many, I mean, it could have been really mean and tucked in the corner over there. I don't know, I think that's good. Let's see, let's see how he does. Okay, Michael, count them out. Three, two, one, go. One hit, two hits, three hits. Nice. Four, five, six. Go, oh, tripod messed seven. them up. That was seven. He went through, but it came back out. Eight. Almost got a paddle. 10, 11, Whoa. 12, 13, oh, no. 14, oh. so there's the win. Okay. I'm under, the I'm under but I won't. <laughs> Get three seconds to spare. Don't win on the battery bench. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so you got wow. fifth, 15 games. I got 15. We're tied up going into the final that game. We are, which is? So the final the final event that we'll have is is gonna be kind of like just a conventional race. Okay. So we're going to have both of you guys fly. We're going to have them uh, kind of make a course together. You guys ready to do this? Let's go. We're all tied up. Let's go. So for this final challenge, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna pick up shop and we're actually gonna move to a local school in Minerva High School. Now there's been an awesome teacher there, Matt Leatherberry. Matt has been actually using a lot of our STEM curriculums to inspire a bunch of kids in his school. I wish we would have had something like this hands-on curriculum because we just read from a bunch of books and I do not learn well that way. So we're gonna pick up shop and we're going to go to the Minerva Library to show you guys that you can set up this track pack and start racing, start doing these challenges, pretty much anywhere. And also Mike's been actually using some very budget friendly equipment like our transporter goggles and our pocket radio. Now we handpicked this equipment because it's very budget friendly and very easy to use. So we're gonna go to Minerva High School. If you guys wanna pick up any of this stuff before the final race, go do so. We'll see you at the school. This guy's winning, I'm taking him down. Let's yeah. go. Mike. You saw how I went through gates last time. <laughs> yeah, I, I won that one, so I'm, I got it. Yeah, I can hit things really well, as you've seen in the first challenge, but I can't go through things. Yeah, okay, so. So you'll be hitting more gates than you'll go through. Yes, if that was a challenge, I'd win. <laughs>
I got this. Let's go. Let's race. Let's race. So Let's we, make a, we are going to make a course for it. Yeah. So as you guys can see, they're setting up the, uh, the gates right now. Um, they're not only using the gates, but they're also using tables. They're using the whiteboards. They're using anything to their availability to actually make an awesome course. And it doesn't have to be complicated. It could be as easy as going through, you know, a circle track or a, you know, a figure eight. But because these guys are a little bit more experienced, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through, you know, elevation change. We're gonna go through gates, around poles. Um, so, you know, let's see how these guys do it and what, what course they come up with in the uh, Minerva Library. All right, so here's the course we got laid out. We're gonna launch from here. We're straight through to the gate on the table. Okay. Hard left around the brick post. Try to come down through this gate to the left of the flagpole, whatever, then back through this gate behind you. Okay. And then we're just gonna do an outside track of the whole room. Okay. Back around through here, and then back onto the course. Nice. And how many laps? We should do how many laps or time? We could do first to three. I like first to three. First three laps. First three laps. Where's the finishing gate? Uh, that one on after the third lap. That one after the third so lap. So that gate, you, you do. You so start finish, of the fourth. You finish your third lap, and that's the finish gate. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So the start of the fourth build. Yes. Gate, but there's only three. So. Yes. Got it. Cool. All right. Let's awesome. Go. Let's do it. All right, race master. Let, you know, okay. Let's, you know, let's count down. You ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. They're off. Holy cow. Okay. I'm coming for you. Mike, he is like right on your heels. He passed me. Holy cow. Jason's catching up though. Two. That's two for me too. You guys are right on top of each other. Oh! Oh! oh. 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 Ah, hit the game master! Oh, try yeah. There we go. Thank go. You. Oh, come on, this is it. Let's straight go. Straight away, no. straight away. Here it is, this is the finish. Did you go through? Yeah. I didn't. I hit it. <laughs> that's awesome. Um, I think that's the closest that you will race we've seen. Oh my god, I can't was, believe I got so close. It was funny because I think we were like neck and neck, but you hit the side of it and like rotated it around me. Yeah, I hit the bottom half of the gate, the yep. finished gate, and you went through it and won. And there it is. Michael has won the final challenge. Michael is the victor of this tiny whoop battle that we had between Mike and uh, Jason. Now, if you guys want to do what we were doing in this episode, go to the store. We have everything from the tiny whoop to the track pack to even the transporter goggles in the pocket radio. We have a STEM curriculum that we are working on right now, so it is coming very, very soon. We hope to see these track packs and tiny whoops inside the school, teaching kids, inspiring them. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We sure did, and uh, can't wait to see you on the next one.